week three of the fantasy football season. And here's a few wide receivers I would drop this week. The first guy's Kadarius Tani of the New York Giants. So Tani, he's been in the doghouse since preseason with this new coaching staff over here in New York. And the first two games, we've seen nothing out of him. Week one at Tennessee, two carries, 23 yards, no targets. And then week two versus Carolina, three targets with two catches for no yards. So that's not going to get the job done. And week three here, it's going to be a good Monday night football game versus the NFC East rival Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. And this Cowboy defense, believe it or not, has been playing decent so far in the early going here. And Kadarius Tani, he's third or fourth on the step chart, it seems like. Even though the Giants, they need help. Kenny Galladay hasn't done much. Sterling Shepard, I know he had a decent week one, but he's been an inconsistent wide receiver throughout his career. And Tani, last season, we saw him have some good games, but right now he's not getting the job done. Right now he's in the doghouse, and he's been already dropped in tons of fantasy weeks from week one to now, but I think you drop him in even more after the first two weeks he's done nothing. And another thing here, if you're holding on to guys and you're 0-2 already, I know it's only 0-2, but this fantasy football season goes quick. It's not like a baseball or basketball where you got... 19 20 weeks before the playoff time here you only got 13 14 weeks here and if guys aren't producing you can't wait on them especially in redraft leagues so right now tani is a drop this week yeah he could turn things around he could get in the good graces of the coaching staff but right now i'm not seeing it the next guy Devonte parker of the new england patriots of parker in the offseason this patriot team traded him from the Dolphins and obviously the Dolphins didn't need him after the performance we saw with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. So right here Parker so far him and Mac Jones haven't been on the same page and Mac Jones he's hit, been hitting Aguilar and Jacoby Myers but Parker he hasn't done anything the first two weeks. Week one in Miami a catch for nine yards and week two at Pittsburgh he only had two targets and had the goose egg in that one. So right now week three decent matchup versus Baltimore after what we saw that Miami Dolphin offense due to that defense but right here I can't trust him and he's a guy on the outs right now in that New England offense and obviously this New England offense is built on running the football play action plays and defense and that's exactly what they've done so far this season but Parker's not done anything and he's a wide receiver I would drop this week in the third and final wide receiver I would drop this week's Marquise Valdez Scanlon of the Kansas City Chiefs about this game when I thought he would be a good piece here for this Chief team coming in. I know it's only two weeks here, but like I said, another guy not getting targets, not playing that much. And like I said, he, there's a lot of weapons over there where Patrick Mahomes spreads the football out. They don't really have a true number one unless you want to call Juju Smith-Schuster a number one, but he only had four fantasy points as well with Smith-Schuster. So Travis Kelsey's obviously the number one guy on the offense, but he's not a receiver. But anyway, week one in Arizona for Valdez Scanlon, one carry, negative three yards, four catches, 44 yards. And week two versus the Chargers in that one, two catches, 13 yards, and seven targets. So right now, Valdez Scanlon, this is what happens. A lot of people get rid of him. And then the next week, he has 100 yards and a touchdown, and then you pick him up again, and he doesn't do much. So I'll let someone else deal with the headache with Valdez Scanlon. No doubt about it, he could break out as him and Mahomes grow more of a rapport. But like I said, week two already, Going into week three, these guys, if they're not producing and there's better options on the waiver wire who are producing, this is the time to get in and about this game when he's been dropped in a decent amount of weeks over the last week. And after we haven't seen much out of him in the first two weeks, yeah, I would drop him. But like I said, keep an eye on him to reemerge down the line this season. But throughout his career, he's just had a bad track record and been inconsistent. So that's a few wide receivers I would drop here for week three of the fantasy football season.